There are hundreds and thousands of kids out there who want to be professional athletes. Thousands of kids out there have the athleticism, they have the passion, they have the raw talent, but they're not ready for the cutthroat multi-billion dollar industry of professional athletics. Played nine years in the NFL, played with Carolina Panthers, drafted in 1999, played for four years, went to Green Bay Packers, uh, went to Cincinnati for a stint and retired from the San Francisco 49ers. But I never got the contract that I always wanted to get because, you know, different things, injury, whatever the case may be. I looked at 360, I mean, I always knew there was a bigger purpose for me, you know, I mean, I did it. And maybe the reason I played nine years and was able to do what I did was because I was going to do 360, who knows? They're putting way too many of their eggs into the pro athlete basket. What happens if they fail? What's the backup plan? The yeah, NFL stands for not for long. Just so many <laughs> injuries and, you know, everything. There's so much, so many variables that go into a career of, of sports, a student athlete and transitioning to a professional athlete that brings success. Because it's not just about getting to college, it's about staying in college. It's not just about getting to the NFL, it's about how you succeed and, and, and maximize your time in the NFL. Three and a half years, you know, is, is such a, a astounding number to know that, you know, us as athletes, that's really what we're, the, the, you know, is our average is three and a half years. Yeah, I, I could be 24, 23, I could be over, you know, next year, you never know. What do you do from that point? You've been playing football your whole life and that's what you've been, you know, studying basically. You've been in class and that's your skill set. So once that's over, there has to be some tools, there has to be some tools along the way that you put in place that can take you and propel you past that point in time and I think that's something that we're not as a society not looking at and not addressing. This is happening every single day across the nation. Thousands and thousands of these kids are slipping through the cracks of society. Who are we headed to? What part of the trap? Um, the three. That's what they call it. The three. Zone three. This is his hood. This is his, his part of town. a company called 360 Football Academy, man. Me and Dion, I've known this dude, man, since we was, since he was a What's rookie up, in the man? league, man. So we both got, we both was playing ball together, man. And me and Dion been kicking it ever since, man. We've been in, we've been kicking this high class, low class, hood, wherever. Me and Dion get it wherever we get it. But the thing is, man, me and Dion know there's too many of us coming from here, man, and got the talent and don't make it out. So what I developed, man, was a company where we taking cats like us, taking cats from the hood, man, taking cats that got that talent that's on their way, man, getting them right, getting them straight, getting them their grades up, getting them, getting them in the college, basically. If I could do it, Dion could do it, everybody could do it. Whether you're in the trap or whether you're in the suburb, you see them guys in the trap, they're pulling out guns, but at the same time, they left 360 because you're talking about taking them up out of that element. When you talk about taking somebody about that element and giving them something better, then they are receptive to that. And, and something as, as empowering as athletics, they can understand it, you know, they're more receptive to football and basketball. I and mean, if that's the case, then let's make that an answer. And Dion was a perfect example. You know, he's from that element. He made it that far. So if he can do that, anybody can do it. Some people are, are so gifted that they don't have to work at it until they have to work at it and then they don't know how. Yeah. I've had one make it to the NFL out of 36 years. You know, that's the only one I've had. And I've had plenty that had all the tools, but they didn't take it all. They, they made some mistakes along the way. Right. And react, don't guess. Back up. Get out. Get out. Get out. My name is Jacob Contreras, and I play fellow shoe. Ah. <laughs> my boy Jacob, man, he's he's somebody who caught my eye. I was just, you know, I like dealing with young guys. I like dealing with student athletes. This guy, is just, every time I, I, I tell him something, he would correct it. Every time I would teach him something, he would work at it, and, and next time I would see him again, he would improve. And, and every time we worked, he was, he was outworking everybody. To be honest, I've learned more, you know, my two months here with, uh, you know, Hannibal and, uh, you know, just CES than I've learned, you know, basically my four years of uh, college. The little bit of time that I had him, you know, he said he's learned so much, and it's that little bit of time. He's willing to learn. He's so receptive to learning and, and understanding the game and understanding the things surrounding the game. That's what's going to make him successful. The educational part, the informational part, he understands and wants more of it. So I think he's, he's going to have a long career. 360 Sports Academy has the partners, the knowledge, and the experience. And now we're partnering with Corporate America to get these kids a college education.
to help their transition to the next level. My father passed away when I was 13 from leukemia. And to see that happen, you know, it changes you. It changes you as a young man because you have to become a lot of things at once. Hey, my mom. And she allowed me to grow up and be a man and make decisions on my this own. Is this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. sweet. Thank you. I wish I had been better prepared. A child, a young child, 21 or 18, they're not used to that kind of money, so they're not knowing what to do with it. They want to buy a car. You, you know, and then you have different financial people bombarding you. Parents have no clue of what they have to prepare for. I'm very proud of Hannibal because I've learned a lot going through this with him. But uh, another reason that I'm most proud of him is because he has chosen a business, a passion, a company that gives back. Do my own thing, build my own program, and teach, 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 teach what I feel is, is really a necessity from on and off the field, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of developed a program, man, where we, we basically walk through that whole process, from the recruiting process to getting your SAT straight, to understanding your finances, to understanding the NCAA clearinghouse. To... My stuff is, is not really all training. My stuff is all the academic stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Cool. That, mine is just, it, uh, you know, it's everything combined. Everything. Not just so some of that stuff that you learn comes from you just going through it. You never go back and say, okay, here's how you do it, and take these answers and walk them through that success plan that you went through. Nobody's doing it. That's so crucial, man. The whole middle school to, to varsity yep. in high school, man, is crucial for this player. No, I'm not talking about that, just in general. What's up with the other kids? 360 is the passion of Hannibal Navies combined with the scalable concepts that I'm bringing to the table and we're going to try to transform a demographic. What we thought we could do is isolate in on what we thought was the problem, but try to actually uh, create a scalable solution, which really has never been done. Everybody can look at these kids and say, oh, well, you know, there's a problem in society, and these kids are, are, are the root. Well, you know what? Kids are kids, and when you take away discipline, there's no telling what direction any kid can go in. What makes 360 unique is we are recognizing that 99% of these kids are not going to go into professional sports and we want to make sure that they all get into college. The camp starts with a uh, five to seven day full-blown camp where it's, where it's elite football training by professional athletes and coaches that are on the field giving back their experiences to these kids and, and teaching them how to, how to not only the fundamentals but teaching them the mindset that's going to have to be associated with uh, having a successful career or not. It is, it is a combination of, of the positive experience of an athlete. That's the beauty of 360. It's just different segments that each does its positive part to, to keep an athlete. Whether it be, you know, from, from medical to, to the training to even, you know, having a down day because of school, whatever, that's, that's what I see 360 really excelling at. Football camps are exactly camps. They focus on football. Um, they go out there, you know, they run 40s, they emphasize the 40s, they emphasize the different drills and different positional drills, and they go out there and do, do football stuff. And I think that's important, but that's just a, such a small portion of really what success is. There's a whole side that they're missing, and, and, and that's the educational and informational component of this whole sports industry. And, and that's what, you know, I've really been able to develop with my partners is this, that whole blueprint, so to speak. When you are in a situation like 360 that has basically built a team of experience, wisdom, you know, positive people, then it's going to help you whether you make it or not. It's, it's a lot more to life than making it just in a sport. Our main partner really is Kaplan, who's going to administer a three-year curriculum. We have a very uh, compatible shared mission. You know, we want to propel student achievement, get students ready for the college experience, uh, be it from an academic perspective, an athletic perspective. And what makes us so excited about this partnership with 360 is that you're looking at the whole athlete, the whole student, right. not just the athletic side of it, but their academic goals and dreams as well. The partnership with Kaplan is huge, I mean, because we stand on education. And obviously, Kaplan represents education, so to have you guys on board mm -hmm. plays right to our motto and what, we, what, we're, what we're trying to accomplish in, in leadership development through athletics, but also getting these students 
to college, and that's the most important thing. I'm excited to work with 360 because, again, I feel that it really does encompass all aspects of the student athlete's life. It factors in their academics, it factors in their athletics, and it really does show them the best of both worlds and that the two have to work together in order for the student athlete to be successful. Competitive Edge Sports is our partner. They currently have 40% of the, of the NFL has gone through their program. We're going to get these kids uh, to where they're an elite machine. Hopefully, some of them can go to the NFL. The main goal is really to try to make sure that 99% of these kids at least get college scholarships, fine-tune their athletic skills, fine-tune their life skills, make them understand the importance of going to college. And that's the goal of 360, is to take these kids and make sure that they're prepared for life. Deion, we didn't even know if he's going to play football again, man. Oh, yeah. As a career doctor said it to me, he said, your career is definitely over with. Because football is not one of those things like if football ends, it's when, it's when football ends. And I broke my arm playing the Redskins one year. Football, it could not work out and chances are very slim that it does work out. They had to, you know, end of my season, man. I put my hamstring five days before the, before the combine. So I went from a first round draft pick all the way to the fourth round because I couldn't perform. Anytime you hurt and get off the field, you lose money. NFL doesn't last forever. I play in the NFL, you see me on TV, you see me endorsing this product, you see me doing these things, but it started exactly where you're sitting, you know, and, and some, of these, some of these student athletes don't realize we came from the same place they came from. We, we, we were sitting in the same classroom, sitting on the same fields, in the same high school, doing the same things that they were doing, same environments, good or bad, same, same dealing with the same issues that they had to deal with, we came from that. We're grabbing them by the hand and walking them through this process. What's up, man? I heard a lot about you, man. Hey, you a beast, huh? they call you? You've done a good job with this guy. <laughs> He's done a great job. He's doing great. You got, you've done a great job. The pleasure in, in being able to give back and seeing that they want to, they, they're just so appreciative of me, so much to me. You know, it's, it's no words I really can express you know, when you see a vision really come full circle and come a 360, so to speak, and really see the impact that is going to happen with these kids, the experience that I know that they're going to have and that they don't even know yet, that they don't even realize. The guys that just have athletic ability, it was, there, was, there was reasons why. So I looked at that and was like, I learned it later in my career. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't learn this because I, was, I did everything right. I learned this because I saw other people's mistakes. I looked at my mistakes and I, and I came up with this whole curriculum, so to speak. So, you know, we're going to give you every tool you need. Not only are we gonna tell you what it, what's in front of you, but we're gonna give you resources. You guys are the only people that I've heard so far that think the way that I think and tell him the things that I tell him. Like I said, I'm always trying to keep him well informed and encourage him to seek out other resources. And wow, it's just amazing and a blessing to have them all come to him. That, that's just an awesome opportunity. The football game is a tool. The football game is a tool to teach you a lot of different things in life. And if you use the tool right, you can come out of football um, with, with a lot of things, a lot of opportunities. 99% of these kids will not make it to the professional level. 360 is here to give them their best shot. Prepare them for life after athletics. Get them scholarships. Get them through college. And make sure these kids no longer slip through the cracks of society. We want to change the demographic. We want to see these kids succeed. We want to make a difference. My name is Hannibal Navies, and this is my legacy.